massive, massive chaos filled next step in influencer boxing. Did you see any of the first lead in press conference for Misfits Prime card today? Did you see this? I saw some highlights or some low lights, or whatever you want to call them medium lights, crazy lights. Okay. Insanity lights. Well, let's just go over what you saw so far. And while you're doing that, I'll, I'll pull up the, the presser here. We're not going to watch all of it over again because it, yeah. it, it was a bit. It was a long one here. But let's just, let's just hit some of the highlights here. What did you see? I heard Logan say some crazy stuff to get back at Dylan. Okay. Expand on uh, that. I saw what, a freaking... What you're talking about talking him about, talking about the mom. Yeah, dude, talking about mom. I mean, mama you're Dukes. not going to say it because you're, you're a no, fine never. gentleman, but I'll say it. The man basically said, your mom's a prostitute. Not basically. He said those words. You're, she's a prostitute. Whore. Oh, um, my gosh. I forgot what name was mentioned, but he was like, oh, let me, should I ask about Gary Tonin's student? Gary Tonin's student told me and didn't go oh, any man. further with it, but apparently there were some, some things going down. To be honest with you, not my cup of tea at all, right? Yeah. And I'm not even going to blame Logan because I get it. He's trying to do his get back, but it's like this whole style of promoting for me is just kind of like, I said the same thing with Dylan and I'm, I'm sticking with it. I'm, I'm kind of like, eh. even though it's like, yeah, it's the fight people want to see. And I said this on Twitter, it's becoming the fight people want to see me personally. I want you to talk about the fight now. Now let's talk about you're going to beat each other's ass and here's why and you ain't man enough to stand in there with me. Not, hey, your dad used to beat you. Hey, your mom's a prostitute. I'm I'm kind of getting tired of it. <laughs> Bro, I mean? that is so insane. Crazy. Like, it's so insane that it, like, it made John Fury go insane. Dude, John got uncomfortable. That's a man that's pulled a man's eyeball out of his skull and he got fed up with it. He did what? Say that again? John Fury, you didn't know this? Went, I did not know this, no. John Fury went to jail, spent years in jail for plucking a man's okay. eyeball out of his skull over an argument in a, in a, in a pub. This wow. dude's like that, bro. He's like yeah, that. Yeah, for real. That's insane. So when he's doing all this, like all these shenanigans, that's really him. Like he doesn't just joke. He means he wants to fuck somebody up or he's, we'll get to it. But John, and with all that. that being said, with all that being said, this crossed his line. That's you know what, what I'm saying? saying. He was like, no, this is, this is not what we're here to talk about. We're her fighting men. We are fighting men. We're fighting men. I am, I'll take you all. It was crazy. I can't do that. I was going to say, keep going. No, keep going. You got to go. I just I was waiting for you to do it. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> I know. I thought we were going to trade. It's like John Fury and John Furry over there. It's great. Um, so I can, do like, I can do like Tommy's reaction. Go ahead. Like Tommy and his, his, like, his arms. And then, then John jumped up. Did you see the, the clip of when John jumped up and scared the shit out of Tommy? He's sitting there. And John, yeah, like, like oh. he jumped up. He went, like, it fucking freaked him out. Anyway, let's go through this press conference, start to finish. We're not going to show too many of the clips. We're just going to talk about some of it, but I'm going to look while we go. So yep. this, the press conference starts. Everybody comes on stage, and Dylan has this, uh, this get up on, and I want your thoughts on this as oh, he gets on yeah. stage here. So let's take a look. Chuck's the prime. See you later. Prime. Dude. Gone. Launched it. No, no, My first thought was like, were those full? Keep some bottles up. I don't think they were full, but also, Seems I don't dangerous. If you're Dylan here, the first message you send, he's got the, the Toy Story thing on his head, right? The Logan Ward yep. in Japan, the reference. I take Correct. every bottle of prime and chuck it off stage. Every single one of them. Yeah. Because it ain't just because by the way, there's a little Easter egg here. There was a Connor McGregor name tag that was there for Connor that he never showed up, but they is apparently expected him to be there. Oh wow. So that's very interesting. But if you're trying to establish heel character, you toss all the, I don't care. Listen, Ad Ladipo is my boy. Love him. I don't give a fuck what he's saying. I'm taking all those primes and yucking them into the crowd, dog. Yeah, yeah. Of His course. stage. Makes you know sense. what I mean? But I thought a decent little start. Dylan, though. What's up there, Dylan? I didn't like the um Dylan, let me around and say hello to you. I didn't like the hat. The hat didn't fit him well, so it was kinda like he was trolling, but he also looked like a kid at Disneyland. Yeah. Does he ever take it off? Yeah, he takes it off to throw it at Logan. 
Okay, like that makes sense. I, I, I assume, like, you know, it, at some point it's got to come off because I mean, it'd be he, crazy. He, when I say he threw it at Logan, he kind of threw it in the general direction. But anyway, there's Dylan's entrance, and then we get TNT but hey, himself. So, solid props. This is what you want to see. You know what I'm saying? He coming with props. You know, you, you're trying to, you're trying to, and he says, by the way, he says here that uh, he's wearing the hat. A couple of prime bottles away yeah, there, Dylan. Why are you tossing these prime bottles? Like shit. <laughs> Dylan Dennis, it's just good to see you here, brother. You like my hat? It's a good hat. It's a good hat, right? It's a nice hat. I'm going to wear that when I knock him unconscious, so. Okay. In the name of the Japanese people. He's going to knock him unconscious in the name of the Japanese people. I like shout what you just Gideon. did there. Fantastic. Okay. Then he said, shout out Gideon. We're going to talk about this later, and I don't know if we're going to talk about it on this episode or another one, but we're going to talk yeah. about Gideon's involvement here because that was even crazier to me. But what do you think, Dylan? Just his first words, I got a little worried. I'm not going to lie to you. What was his first words? What do you mean? Just the way I like I've heard Dylan talk before, and I said this in my video. I'll put it in terms you can relate to. When Dylan talks, it feels like his his formation of thoughts moves faster than his words do. Yeah. So he's trying sense. to keep up, but the words, like the the understanding of the English language, is still like blue belt blue belt level. Like he's still like a like a you know right. It's saying? like someone doing your mama jokes, and you like you forgot one. Yep. And you're trying to come up with one. It's like the Michael Scott starting a sentence without understanding where it's in. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty that's, that's what, pretty on. That's what worried me about Dylan here. But he he came with some zingers. He came with some zingers. Fair play. Hey, I got to say, I'm impressed. Listen, Dylan Dennis is here and engaged. See, this is the thing. You are giving him the bare minimum of credit here because you didn't even think yeah. he would show to this or the fight. So every time or he try. just shows up. You know, I know he would troll, but hey, he's here at the press conference. Right. Trolling, he's coming up with some liners, you yeah. know. And there were some decent ones here. There were some decent ones. He's but, trying. But I still think, listen, people are going to be like, wait, he's not showing up. I still think Dylan's showing. I think he's he's going to yeah. show up. I think, so this is not, I, I want to see that next level of, he's a big WWE fan. I want to see the next level. Like, you've done the Twitter thing. At some point, you got to, you know, you got to go to that next level. With I'm out, he thinks he can sleep KSI. Here's Tommy, Tommy Fury. Fury's in the building, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> At first, I thought they were playing Pink Panther for his walkout. I was like, that, that freaking that angle makes him look jacked. Dude, look at this angle, son. Jeez. That is a big dude, bro. Wide body. We'll come back to Wide. that. Look at him. Bruh, look at Kala. And Kala's not a super small dude. No, what's the weight class again? What's the, what are they fighting at? 183. Jeez. What do you think that is right now? Just ballparking it. Bro, that's like what... That was like our, Kenny and I weight. That I'm saying, but what do you at. think he's weighing right now? Got to be 200 plus. Well, how tall is he? That's two bills. He's like 5'11", six feet flat. So he's like my height? He looks like you're, you're two bills right now. <laughs> he's my height. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, two, am, I am. I'm 5'11". Eh, but you're two bills right now, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he, he, yeah, he looks about like you right now. Maybe a tad bit bigger, but he looks about no, like No, he you. does look bigger than me. I think it's the shoulders. Facts, he's like, he's yeah, got, yeah, he's got the broad shoulders. All right, so there's Tommy. Here's, for real. here's Logan coming in. Welcome, Tommy. Oh, wait, by the way, John Fury. Okay, John. Who would, who would turn out to be Tommy. the star of the show here. Welcome. Dude, fucking massive. Either that or he's wearing an extra medium tank. Mr. Logan Paul, come to the All right, here's Logan. I'm interested to know your thoughts on Logan, just build-wise. I saw some pictures, bro. Another tank. Another tank top. Man, looks lean. Crazy. Yeah, the leanness, but, but you know what? Maybe it's the tank that's throwing me off. It looks like he's coming down in weight a little bit. He does, he does. He looks great here. Looks pretty fucking good. Looks Not like as blown up. Anime character, bro. And he looks like he's, he's coming down in weight. And I heard, on, and we're not going to get into every little piece here, but I heard him talking to someone else. I think it was Mike Perry, because Mike Perry, we're going to see in a little bit, was the replacement opponent here. I heard him say to Mike Perry, I'm 196 right now. Okay. How the fuck is that 196? He is lean body, son. Yeah, dude. I saw some pictures. He is super lean right now. But he's not so. as big. Like I, that's the first no, thing I noticed. No, I was no. like, he's slimming down a bit. Like KSI Logan too. Remember? That's that, what I'm saying. That. But watch when he looks. Yeah, watch when he stands next to KSI. You're like, oh shit! I thought Logan would be a lot more, you know, wide and like 
buffed out a bit, but he's not. He looks like Johnny Bravo right here, by the way. Can we address this? This is why I said Dylan looks like a Disney kid. <laughs> he looks like a Make-A-Wish kid that went to Disney. That's crazy. <laughs> he looks like he just got off fucking... I don't yeah, even know. It's, it's misplaced. It's not. A, yeah, it makes sense. So Dylan said, "Are you hiding? Are you wearing those glasses to hide your tears?" That's not bad. Oh, okay. All right, Dylan. Okay, hiding those tears because of Nina. Huh? Hey, we got the real fighter. Oh, here we go. Oh. In the house. <laughs> yeah, Dylan Dan. Is the so Logan gets the poster of Dylan getting choked out. Okay, you know we've seen it. Real fighter. Looks like he made Who it on Instagram. Him? That's the bouncer. The bouncer that choked him out at, at uh, I think it's Atlantic City. He got choked out? Oh, dude, you're you're so late to the party on this. Dylan was drunk, I think, in Atlantic City. I could be wrong. He was drunk at some bar or out at some... Unconscious? Bar. I don't know if he was unconscious here, but he did get choked, and he had to tap, I'm pretty sure, to this guy. Um, this guy and this, look at him. He's holding his freaking yeah, forearm. This is not his a, elbow. <laughs> this is not a, <laughs> what are we doing? Um, this, That's rough. This bouncer chokes him, and Dylan ends up having to tap on him to get him to let go. But that's like me being out and then like somebody does like a terrible hook kick. And just like the ugliest hook kick ever. You seem like huh, like ah, like bad technique and just KOs me, dude. Out cold. <laughs> it was uh, like, hiya. Like he like he did karate for like a week. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and knocks me out. That would be crazy. And you have a picture of that? A, hits you with a hiya after. Like he's like, I've been in training for two weeks. Hiya. That's it. I can never show up to the dojo ever again. So it's not over, only, guys. so I've known about this. A lot of people have for a long time. So it didn't really hit the same with me, but you've seen it for the first time. It's hitting with you, right? Yeah. So not only that, but listen to what Logan says after. The real fighter who got choked out by a bouncer in a club. Your girl got I fucked by 75 guys before you married her. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that part. <laughs> Again, the oh. first time you hear that in the presser, that's like... Look at like, John. Look at John Fury. I was like, what the he's, fuck did he just say? He's starting to lose it, dude. Already. That man the first one, already. But like, if this was an this. anime, if, we, like, if this was an anime, it would have cut to John Fury right in that moment. He'd go... His inner thoughts, his inner monologue? Yeah, like... What did he just it would say? Start to what did he, what did he just started. say? 75 men. My God. Personal security. Yo, where's your fiance? I found the bouncer. Where's your fiance? Dylan Danis out. I flew him to London, and Chance is here. And keeps trying any sicko shit, you dirty dog. <laughs> All right, we got whoa. <laughs> so Logan hired the guy and put him on a security team. Now, it's a good troll, but to me, if you hired him and put him on your security team to protect you from Dylan Danis. Why do you need, and I saw a security team, like five people. I Granted, it's not all for Dylan, but when you come out and say, yeah, I hired him to put him on security for you, so you need protection from, from Dylan? You're yeah, it's like, a weird, it's like a weird That's troll. It's like, I get what you're doing, but it's like, you're, okay, we're about to fight, but fair play. The chocolatier, apparently the guy is a chocolatier as well. I don't know what that means, but I heard True Jordy say it, so chocolatier. It's like bouncer. doing a yo mama joke to like your brother or sister. Yeah, your exactly. mama's so fat. <laughs> It's like, like well, dude, it's your, mind, it's it's your, your mom, mom too, bro. It's your mom too, so, okay. <laughs> got me, I guess. Dylan's hold it, Dylan, hold it. Got All right, so there's Logan. And Logan brought tape out so he could, he could tape his poster. Christian, we'll have to mute this part. It's such a fire song, though. This intro is a dope-ass song. Another tank, another tank. Dude, the dude. tanks are going crazy. Guns are out. Now, you can't tell me. First off, has the Misfits belt always been white? Or did he think, color I coordinate? I don't think so, though. I think he color coordinated it with the with the fit. Now, what I was gonna say is, Logan and KSI definitely color coordinated here. Definitely, both got the prime chains on. Logan with the all black with the tank. KSI with the all white with the tank. Both in the sunglasses. Bruh. Yeah. We color coordinated a bit. This here. is a wild scene to see like these guys like yeah. as a duo. Yeah, dude, it was awkward the whole time for me. We'll get into it, but it was it was just a weird, like, I'm like, man, how was this, like, you guys can't even, like, you it, for me anyway, it'd be tough to talk trash about my past opponents if I'm Logan because the guy that beat me sitting right next to me. And then when KSI was right. like, right. I'm undefeated, smacking up everybody. <laughs> the dude, one of the dudes you beat is sitting right next to you and he's your business. It's just like, it's a weird thing to me, you know? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but they're both like, you know, cheered each other on. But all right, so there's the introductions. Nice, happy days. Now you have 130. Yeah, great. Now we're not. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try not to just watch this whole thing because because there's just too much. But I'm gonna look for specific little parts here. But again, just this scene on stage. You showed up. Put it on then. So yeah, he throws that at him. This is gonna be the uh, Actually, fuck it. We'll just do it like this. It'll be easier than us just trying to talk and then go back. Let's see. But then when I get in that ring and knock out Tommy Fury, <laughs> you're gonna look at me differently. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Keep dreaming, buddy. No, no, there's no dreaming. It's facts. Jake Paul said Reality. the same thing. Yeah, but I'm not Jake Paul. Yeah, Jake Paul's better I'm than you. I'm not Jake Paul. I'm Jake Paul's better like, than you. Why Jake Paul is not better. Defend your brother, Logan. You defend so your brother, excited? Logan. Why are you so so, I was waiting for that. I was yeah, waiting so, for that. That's got to be weird, bro. I'm saying already it's This odd. is like weird like Thanksgiving when, you, when you're, yes, your cousin's dude. dating your ex or something and she shows up. So, you know, got to like mean? make conversation. Just, it's odd. Logan's trying to interject. First off, Tommy says, you're not Jake. Jake was better than you. You know KSI a little better than I do. Does that, is that sitting in his head to just fire him up more? Like, is that one of those things that's like, you're not going oh, to be able sure. to, it'll to puncture it, but you're going to be able to just poke him a bit with that. Yeah, it'll just give him extra motivation, though. You know, that thing just motivates him. It's not like, ooh. Like. But it's Tommy's way of sticking it to him. I feel like no, that's going to get, get KSI up. going. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. And then Dylan comes in, and this is why I was talking about Dylan with the, with the English language thing. Like I said, He's doing a good job of promo. Just listen here. <laughs> Jake Paul with the you. English language. Why is on bed? Defend your brother, Logan. Why are you, Defend so, your excited? Brother, Logan. Why are you so excited about that win, Tommy? Def Defend your Logan, bro. Why, why are you so excited about that? <laughs> you know? <laughs> you set that up. You set me up there. <laughs> Here's the thing about the English language with Dylan. I'm like, what? In my head, I'm like, I don't, that sounds normal. Yeah. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, just left field. Defend your Logan, brother. Oh, buddy. <laughs> He's trying. Oh, okay. Look at fucking anchor arms over here. Jesus. But For real. Yeah, like I said, Dylan had his moments. That was one of them. Or excuse me, that was not one of them. I had a Dylan moment there. I'll come over to you when we're ready. Don't worry about that. Barely beat I'm going to beat your business partner, and then I'll come to you. Come on. Don't worry about that. Come on. So now Logan is like talking to Tommy about a fight after KSI, who's sitting. It's just in KSI is like. Yeah, that's weird because that's what I'm saying. Logan just was just like, Jake. We just did this. We just did this. I've been letting you have you know steal these fights from me, and now here's your business partner about to fight him. He's like, okay. And Logan's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. We'll do it after. We'll do it. I'm like. I don't get it, dog. I'm not down. You ain't Tyson. You're just a guy. Oh, don't worry, but I don't need to be to be you. I don't need to be Tyson. Listen what Logan says here. This is very interesting. I'm going to run this back. I want to see if you hear it. I'm not down. You ain't Tyson. You're just a guy. Oh, don't worry, but I don't need to be to be you. I don't need to be Tyson to be you. You don't want to knock your business partner out. You're next. Uh huh. little bro. He ain't next, bro. I'm not going to lie. He ain't next. My mind's on KSI. You're the little bro. You'll never be anything more. Mm. Sounds a little bit like oh, what he told Jake where, a couple of where weeks you go. <laughs> I'm just saying, this is the way the man thinks. What's that? Is that is that what is that thing called? What's the phrase? You'll know it. This is something you'll know, Wade. This is a Wade Wadeism. I have no idea. What do you mean? No, like um, when someone's like Freudian they're trying slip. to be just yes, yeah. I told you he'd know it. Dude, <laughs> this me, is something Wade would me know. Me and you on like charades or catchphrases, GG. I'm literally, I know, but no, it, it, it seemed like that when he said it, he was like, yeah, yeah. you're just a little brother. You'll be, you'll never be anything more. Kind of what you told Jake a couple of days ago or last week. Yeah. So it's clear nothing's changing up here. Right. So, Hey man, you feel how you feel, but it's just like, the more you say it in public, mm. the more we see kind of Easter it is. egg there, little you Easter know, egg there. You know. Let me get him out I see way, these things. The funniest part about this this entire back and forth that KSI and Tommy start having is that Dylan just starts to like try to say things. And again, I, I <laughs> I'll just let you listen. Way too big. Ain't no way. I ain't never lost. You ain't never fought nobody either. I lost. Do lose? I want to. I want to. I want to. Your last fight was a no contest with an elbow. No, I, I undefeated. This is boxing, not undefeated. MMA. Your last contest was an elbow with an old man. Yeah, yeah. Undefeated. I love it. Because that's all you can and say. And Logan's like, and Logan's, and Logan's like, like, yeah. Can I just, uh, I'm going to, I just want to say. 
And then Dylan's like, uh, Tommy, I'll, I'll, I'll knock him out, Tommy. Don't worry. I'll... It's a fucking madhouse, dude. Joe Fournier fucking sucks. <laughs> I want to wait, buddy. I want to take this. Oh, I'm on way. Oh, yeah. I'm on way, skinny man. May wait, bro. Keep eating. Keep eating. One eight three. Keep eating. You are not on weight, you fucking psychopath. Said I'm on weight, bro. No. What weight are you talking about? <laughs> you are on. He's on the moon weight, dude, or something like that. One of those things, <laughs> bro. Bro, what? No, dog. You're on the fucking hold. You're on the phone on hold. That's the weight you're on, dog. No shot. He's on Weight Watchers. That's what he's on. <laughs> to, cut, to freaking make the weight. Bro, I'm what? on weight, buddy, he says. But this is a real thing, and we'll stop it here for just a second. This this episode's going to be all over the place because I have no idea how else to react to this to, to just show you what the fuck happened. But yeah. Yeah. Let's pause it for a second, and we'll talk about this again a little bit later on. This thing, if if Tommy does, and I think he will hit 183, he's done it before. This is a massive advantage to Tommy. Massive. Yeah, he's gonna walk in there at 200 pounds. Probably. I was gonna say, right? What what is he gonna? Because people, I heard somebody be like, "Oh, he can't rehydrate more than 10 pounds." I think I think Vidal said it on his on Rillin Wells. He's like, "What's he gonna walk in 190?" No, dude, that motherfucker. At least from our side of the game, the MMA side, we know dudes that cut freaking 30 pounds and gain that 30 back right the world champion at 135 sugar sean o'malley made weight and then bumped at 135 and then bumped up to 160 he was 160 bro he stepped on the scale the next like seven hours later at 158 bro what is that you see what i'm saying you That's don't think crazy. tommy can get 10 to 15 to 20 pounds yeah bro he's coming in heavy and again That's wild it's going to be such a big factor because KSI is eating to get to 83. He's not cutting to get to 83. He doesn't, he walks around at 80 from what I hear. Yeah. So, fuck, dude. That is tough when you I'm say saying. it like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Good luck moving that I think guy. KSI around. is like, I've done it before versus my partner. So I'm going to do it I again. I did it against this guy. I just, I don't know, man. Different and he's, monster. Though. It's a different style of 200, too. Logan's 6'2. This guy's 5'11, 6 feet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 183. <laughs> This is getting me down, isn't it? <laughs> Eyes right there. So mm. little lip quiver. Mm. Here's John Fury's first attempt to to steer this conversation back to some realism, which by the way, John Fury's the same guy that told Jake that Tommy was gonna bend his girlfriend over and do her like a dog. So keep that in mind. But wow. still, uh here's his first attempt. We've got some Crazy. extra strong anodin. It's gonna be his kids. You know, let's talk some proper boxing and fighting. Forget the bull crap. Let's talk seriously now. There's two men there gonna fight. What's your best plan of action? I, I like you, John Fury. That's I what I'm you. saying about. Let's yeah, talk like some you, proper Fury. stuff. People's the coming into the ATM. He's firing himself up while he's talking. You can tell. It's not <laughs> it's serious business. Men's gonna get put to sleep yeah. for a few weeks' time. Now the so people are with him. About how it's gonna happen. He's firing himself <laughs> up. Come on. KSI. Up. KSI. Tommy Fury. One thing a lot of people want to know. Two it's things. It's a big actually. deal. They want to know how many rounds this fight's gonna be with you two. And what weight it's going to be at as well. How many rounds and what weight, KSI? Six rounds. It's six rounds and 183 pounds. Six? Tommy, I know you wanted eight, Tommy. You well, want, you, and you I want, wanted you, the lower you, weight. You I wanted, wanted the lower rounds. weight. And he didn't this give fight, it. can I just say, he said KSI, he wants my, last fight, fight everyone. my last fight with Jake Paul was eight rounds. KSI, he only wanted to go six. I only need four. You buddy. didn't want to do eight I rounds with me. I only need four, buddy. You, you won't do eight rounds with me. Four. Hey, I only need one. Okay. One round. I'll be on weight, ready for you. Don't worry about that. So, what do you think about that? Now, mm. hey, reason, well, John Fury did a good job right there. Steering I'm saying, boxes. Dude, John, no, first off, John steering the conversation. Great job. John is a father. Yeah. It, I understand that KSI could give a fuck about any of this stuff. But the Furies ran Misfits pockets here with this deal. Ran their pockets. Mm. The only thing they didn't get that they wanted is eight rounds. This just means Tommy just has to do six. Now, granted, 
I think six rounds is better for KSI here. Yeah. Far better. Because the longer you're in there with that big a guy and you're exerting that much energy, right? At some point, we've seen it. We've talked about it. There's more mistakes to be made, potentially. And, you know, I'm sure that KSI at a lower weight is not going to have these same issues to this degree, but we've seen what happens in that fifth and sixth round when the technique goes, right? He's he's operating on instinct. Almost, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Where Tommy can be in eight round and round eight and still have the level of technique to be okay, you know. So, but what I was going to say is, Tommy, you heard KSI said I wanted a lower weight and you didn't give it to me. So not only mm. did Tommy get 183 when they first said it was going to be 80, I think it was first supposed to be 75 or something. Wow. He also got more money to do this than they originally offered him because there was the whole back and forth there. The only thing he didn't get was eight rounds. I feel like he got the better end of this deal by far. Yeah. And I know JJ is like, fuck it, whatever. So I'll sign whatever and go do it because he just believes in himself. But man. Yeah, he believes in himself in the moment and the potential of it. This is Vidal said the same thing. This is why JJ, he leaves himself open in these discussions to being almost, you know, snowballed behind the eight ball with, with all the stuff he has to now overcome because he's so obsessed with doing what Jake didn't that he put himself in a position here at the, not the same body weight or size to be going up against a, a fully operational 200-pound man, essentially, for six rounds. And it's just like... The six-round thing, though, I will say I like for JJ. I think, like you said, I think it's it's better for him. But it was crazy. The whole time they were talking about negotiations, it was Tommy wants six. Tommy wants six. The zone is not going to put the card on... Really? Do a, yeah, it was it, his coach there, Alexis, was saying that. Tommy wants six. It's going to be eight. It was just weird how... That flipped? Know. It was Yeah, it was odd. And then he was like, DAZN's card might not... We got to work within time constraints. I was like, there's a lot of weird shit going on with that. But anyway, six is good for KSI is the point. I think that's six a good... Inches. If you got one thing out of it, lower rounds so KSI can be more explosive, good thing. In the middle. You ain't standing Wait. up. Head on. Head on. I ain't running. You're, you'll be the one running when you feel my power. I'm gonna. Hey, what do you think about my power then? I'm gonna pull you over. Wait. What when you knock? Bro, you how many times have man. you gone to points? You knocked out an you old man with your elbow. Bro, you don't knock you out knocked people. You knocked out an old man with your elbow. You're not knockout artist. You know you like your last You're fight was literally no artist. contest. You beat yeah, nobody. Bro, still, I still knock you people out. You beat nobody. I still knock people out. I could beat. I could beat big men out as well. I could knock them out. You ain't fought nobody, mate. And I'm gonna change this talking. It's all bullshit anyway. So, K, what do you think? KSI saying Tommy is not a knockout artist. That's tough, dude. Because he just... he's right, but you he is right. You're but also schedule. not a knockout artist. You know what I'm saying? That's right, the hard part. Right, right. It's like you can't yeah, say just... my power this when Tommy does have more knockouts on paper. Granted, he has more fights than KSI does, and also, like you said, strength the schedule. Yeah, it's tough. We can't call TK on swarms and Pineda. You know what I'm saying? I knock out everyone, and again. Logan's sitting right beside you. I know. You know? Yeah. It's, That's a similar it's frame. Tough. That's a similar frame, that, yeah. you know? So, I get what KSI's trying to go for. He doesn't think that Tommy has the same level of one-shot power that he has. Right. And that can be argued. But to say that Tommy doesn't have knockout power is silly to me. Of course he does. Tommy may even have the power, but I don't think he's willing to commit the way to a punch. That's what JJ I'm talking does. about. JJ will commit everything. Literally, I was going to say everything into if a shot. If there's any being left in his pinky toe, any like <laughs> s- small spirit bomb energy that Goku would need to take down freaking, I don't even know, Super Boo or somebody, he would summon yeah. that bitch from his pinky toenail. Yep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where Tommy is like, yeah, let me just use this lead hand and I'll maybe commit on a right hand every now and then. Right, right, right. Hey, Taylor, no, no, what should that not go to points? Let's have an arm wrestle now between you and him. Oh, You'll arm wrestle God. you to start off. Let's just get, to, let's get the ball rolling. I, let's have an arm wrestling I, competition now then. Uh, it won't be fair. Much, let's have an arm wrestling like competition. I'll slap him if I get He's it. Middle He's middleweight. Never mind the He's right slap him. him. Arm wrestle to start off with. I'll, I'll slap, slap you. Do it. Yeah. And you have no jaw that. left, I guarantee you. Oh, no jaw. Right That's that copy here. Uh-huh. Oh, you don't go out? Oh, you'll break me, huh? 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 No, he tried to hit it with the Logan getting up. I know. Logan coming in to play defense. KSI says he's going to slap him, gets up. It's Tommy with the flinch. Tommy not having any of it. But again, 
Look at our guy security on John. Like, like that's gonna do something. I know, if right? John stands up. This dude's going out of the frame. Yeah, bro. <laughs> He's launching him. Guys, 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 guys. How's that coffee, KSI? You want that coffee? Dylan. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about with him. It's like he sounds like an assistant. <laughs> hey, uh, J uh, JJ, you want that coffee? I got it for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mr. Like Mr. Mr. SI, um, yeah. Do you like your coffee? Is it good? Okay. I know he's trying to insert himself here, but he should be talking to Logan. <laughs> and also the way the way he says it too, it, it is so the office like he should be a character. How's that coffee, KSI? You want that coffee? <laughs> that does sound like some intern shit. Yo, KSI, you want me to get you your coffee or what are we doing? <laughs> it's <just> like a... <laughs> Dog, <laughs> like regular voice, like regular nine to five coworker, like and it's employee. something that happened a year ago. <laughs> this is the coffee that he threw at me. This is what he's talking about. I know. <laughs> God, that's amazing. Guys, guys, that was October that coffee to the <laughs> October 14th, let's sit down. Shit himself bro. in and out burger in America, too run out wall of car park, too far. and he's shitting himself now. I ain't shit this myself. Pussy, this. I am not a pussy. That's pussy. You'll what see. What happened on the car park oh, on the burger spot, eh? What happened when the man put it on you in the burger shop? Run along the car park. Oh, shut the fuck up. Yeah. You so, I figured out what this was today. I didn't know what this was until this was referenced. And I even, yeah, when like, I was watching it, about? when I was watching it on my channel, I didn't even... I had no idea. I was like, what's he talking about in the car park and the burger shop? I had seen, <laughs> I had seen little like clips and I, yeah, I had no idea. I was like, is this a, is he spitting bars right now? <laughs> I'll beat you in the car park and the burger shop and your mama's pops. And you like, I didn't know what he was. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait, get Molly. Wop. <laughs> get your body oh, rock. I, I don't know what he was trying to say, but. What happened was, do you remember way, like, years ago, I think after the Joe Weller fight, KSI came to America, and there was this guy, I fucking actually talked to him on Twitter spaces today. I was going to ask, was that, uh, that what you were referring to? Prophet Muscle, apparently, is his name. Yes, I remember. Bro, he was coming at me. He was making mad videos about me. Word? I was worried. He's, he was talking about doing the same thing that they did the J-Day. <laughs> to trying you? to find me and stuff. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> I was like, bro. I don't want I'm that. not the one. I'm yeah, not the one. We ain't doing that. Now I'm not gonna fist fight you. Yeah, it's you know gonna, what I'm saying? yeah, right. So I I didn't realize what he was talking about. Apparently that was the thing. And then Prophet Muscle today told me that that like told everybody that was in the space because I was in a Twitter space when my shit was getting unpacked that all this stuff about how what had happened and there's apparently how's legal he stuff. doing by the way? Is he doing okay? He seems like he's doing all right. He challenged That's Anthony good. Taylor to a fight. Andy okay, Taylor's I was, in space. I was worried about him for a little bit. I didn't know what the, what his story was. I don't I don't know his whole story, but he seems like he I, again I don't know. I, I could be speaking out of my ass. He seemed like he was doing all right. He said he fucked with the, the channel and stuff. So all right, hey, yeah, we'll take it. You know, well, what he's mean? doing good, great because he was all we knew was that he was trying to jump KSI. I don't know. It's crazy. So I guess that's what Tommy is referencing anyway. Got it. And uh, what he's saying is essentially KSI, you ain't gonna do anything with these cameras aren't around because when it when it wasn't around, you got smacked up in a car park or whatever, which is a parking lot for us. You actually, JJ did pretty good. I actually did a really. I had a, I had a video on that and it did really well actually. W. What are you saying? These really good videos. What are you saying millions? I think I don't know. Close. Ah, okay. Have to find buddy. out about that. Oh, I don't know. Dude. Guess, we'll, guess we'll find out. Huh. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> but no, I thought JJ did really good. Okay. Uh, defending takedowns, I've never, like never, he, I've never, controlling like distance. Seen, he actually did really good. I've only seen the slow mo clip of when KHI punches him to begin with, with like the thumb out, and he's like, Whew. "Dude, you gotta watch my video. That's what you gotta do." W, check it out. I do a one, I do a one one breakdown on it. W plug, 2017 sensei. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking shit. Bro, I'm different. You're getting knocked I'm out. different, bro. I'm different. Jake Paul was different. I am the one that can see John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm, I'm dead. I I'm the one that can see John Cena. Dude, I'm not going to lie. That took me a while to get. Th that one went. Yeah. Dang, we got to get you to watch more battle rap, son. Come on. Going like this. <laughs> right there. Couldn't see it.
All right, let's skip forward a little. Bragging about 1,530 days. Just like, just like Actually, fuck it, bro. We're just gonna have to watch the whole thing. Oh, you're bragging about the coffee. That, he didn't see that coffee. Yo, look at you. The last fight you've been in was you throwing coffee at a dude. What? One thousand five hundred and thirty days. And I'm gonna knock your bitch ass out. Yeah, if you show up, stupid. Yeah, I'm gonna show. If you show up, stupid. Oh, if you worry, show up. Just like Nina showed up to every guy's house. Hey, you hey, hey, it's, it's your birthday, right? Yeah, it is. He there tried. He tried with the Nina line. Let's write back to make sure we hear it. Yeah, I'm gonna show up, don't worry. Just hey, like, just like up, Nina stupid. showed up to every guy's house. Hey, you hey, hey, it's, it's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> this, it's like he's right at the finish line. It was good. It was and just, it's just, ah. you know when you're playing yeah. Madden and you're hitting the little sticks to try to run your 40 and then you get to the finish line and hit that little stumble? He trips. Yeah, when Nina showed up to every guy's house, you've been, been at, yeah, yeah. God, Dylan, come he's, on. He's, like, he's doing one of these. Uh, I think the mic cut out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Right? Yeah, it is. 30th birthday? Yeah. Y'all, I got Dylan a gift. Oh, yeah. uh -oh. So let me tell you, my friend, we don't only take Dylan this. Is this his actual birthday? If you know what's I think so. You don't want to start a riot. Don't start throwing cakes about down here. Don't start throwing cakes about, mate. John, John, I have no arm. I'm not a baseball let, player. Listen, Yo, no. no. <laughs> we saw when you tried to pitch at the Dodger game. We saw. So John literally just throws him under the bus with his prop. Yeah, John, John freaking... Uh... He gave up the work there. John, you're supposed to play along, dog. But yeah, apparently Logan got Dylan a birthday cake. That's what it looked like. No cake's been chucked uh, around. I'm nah, a grown no people. Throwing cake. No one's throwing cake. But I did get Dylan. Try to throw the cake and see what happens to you. Cake. Try to throw the cake and see what happens Dylan to you. Dylan knocked out in his full glory on the floor, just like he'll be October 14th. Let's Happy see. birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday. <laughs> this is given very like 2018. The KSI Logan 2. 2017. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Walmart. Yeah. This is immediately what I thought of when I saw this. Immediately. Which is which is kind of cool. It's that, a little that throwback. Was a great time. It's that a, was a great throwback. time. Happy birthday, dear Oof. Dylan. Oh wow, they got a whole, that's a whole cake. Guys, guys, wait, wait. <laughs> what was that? So I think Dylan picked up a water and threw it in the chaos. I did catch his trays. Okay, so I catches the sunglasses. Well, y'all do that. KSI saying, I'm going to slap him. I'm going to slap him. Can we get a zoom in on the cake? Dude, that's a really... Oh, that's crazy. You that, uh, didn't see it. You didn't I see did it. it. I did was like, wow, it. the face, the, the bruise, the definition, and then I saw it. That's crazy. <laughs> that's what? crazy. We saying, okay? No, but it's, it's, it's really well made. That's a well, it is a well made cake, though. Logan, why'd your boyfriend step up for you, huh? Check it out, Dylan. There's you. Camel toe and all. Guys, 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 let's sit down. Let's sit down. Dude, the knee he gave it, though. Wild. The knee he gave it. I said this in my video earlier today. It looks like Logan's knee after the fucking Roman Reigns match, dog. That's what that shit looked like. Why'd your boyfriend step up for you, huh? Check it out, Dylan. Maybe that's a play on words too. Is that his bad leg? Is that like his ACL leg? I was thinking because Dylan had a bad knee. I didn't even think about that. Has a bad knee. There's you. I can't stop looking. Guys, 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 let's sit down. Let's sit down. Can't stop. Come here and do something about it. It's been a while, all right? What do you want me to do? Your glasses back on. Never mind. Let's just we back into it. We back into it. Logan, Logan. Is this like an edible we back into it, no? We good. Everything good. I didn't say nothing. We straight. Dude, nothing now he looks like the guy from Street Beefs, dude. <laughs> dude he looks like Pete Davidson. Say, I was going to say this. <laughs> the blue shorts and everything, man. Viking, son. He's back. <laughs> oh, Just man. Like, this is an <sighs> edible cake. We will be cutting it up and passing it around to anyone who wants Just to like his girl. Just like, like his fiance. Everybody can get in the crowd. Just, Yo, you know, you've been so stoked. Wait up until 9 a.m. in the morning. I rejected your ass to go hook up with real athletes. You don't got to take that shit out on me because my brother hooked up with your ex. And here's where it starts getting a little oh, weird. Oh, buddy. I got rid of this, uh, you're marrying one. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. We'll run it back. At least I got rid of this. Uh, you're marrying <laughs> one. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. 
Run your mouth all you want. 75 you know, bodies should fit you know in my body. I still well got you more. You ain't ever been with any girl as beautiful as my girl. Yeah, okay. My lovely Every fiance, single guy my York sweetheart who I love so relax. much. My superstar whose apartment costs more than your entire net yeah, worth. Yeah, because Leonardo DiCaprio you paid for it. You fucking broke ass bitch. Bro, bro, bro. You what? resorted to attacking a woman as your fight tactic? No wonder you're friends with I Conor McGregor. Yeah. No wonder you're friends with Conor McGregor. Where is he, by the way? Where's Coach McGregor, and why won't he take Don't my worry, bet? He'll be here and he'll smack why won't he take my million-dollar bet? Why won't you pay back to people from CryptoZoo? I'm working on it, Dylan. You that was a good one, Dylan. Solid. That's a good one. That was solid. solid. I love Logan's response. Ready? Watch him. I'm working on it. Why won't he take my million-dollar bet? <laughs> why won't you pay back to people from CryptoZoo? I'm working on it, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> that's the office this is a bit this is a whole skit dude you can't tell me i'm working on it this, this is this is unscriptable this is i was gonna say you, you can't, can't tell me you could this. ever write it you couldn't write it logan saying dead trying to be dead serious that he's working on it while also dismissing the lawsuit against him for the people that he did scam asking for him to pay them back they sued him oh. and he tried to get it dismissed that's what you're working on, you fucking idiot. So yeah, that's where Logan is. But here's the thing. It's it's the pot calling the kettle black because Dylan was also involved in a scam. You scammed your audience 20 <laughs> times. Yo ass got shit. checked by community notes. Dylan Danis has scammed his audience on several occasions. Then why did you answer that? Why did you respond? Each. Why did you respond? Do you do Look at John. Anything for a couple thousand. <laughs> These two are just pointing the finger. It's the Spider-Man meme, dog. It's the Spider Man yeah. meme. They're just they're they're both looking at each other like you did the same thing, dude. You did the same thing. And John's already fed up with it, and we're not even close to the end. I'm just gonna play it. Huh? Yeah. Like mother, like son, I guess. Yeah, same thing with your girl, buddy. Don't worry. Don't get me started on Nikki, bro. Yeah, don't let me get started about your dad that used don't to beat you and Jace. So shut the fuck up. Bro, it's crazy how you see Jace talking about you a you see? women's past considering you your you mother's you an actual you prostitute. Yeah, go on there. Just like your dad oh. beat your fucking Wow. Bro. Your dad didn't beat you? Yo. <laughs> Your dad didn't beat, beat you. you. Wait, it's crazy. It's 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 <laughs> that's, yo. You can't just ask someone that, dog. Yeah, so your dad didn't beat you? That's Your crazy. mother's a prostitute. So your dad didn't beat you? <laughs> Dude, just wait. Watch this exchange again. Oh. And listen to Dylan. An actual prostitute. Yeah, go on there. Just like your dad beat your fucking kid. Come on, bro. First off, <laughs> your dad beat your kid. <laughs> And then he gets it right the second time and just, he cuts out all the filler words, right? <laughs> he knows that the first time it didn't go so well, so we just got to get to the point on the second turn. So this is where we go. Your dad didn't beat you? Yo. <laughs> Cut out all the That's filler. That's insane. Cut out all the filler. Yeah, so your dad beat your kids. Your dad didn't beat you? <laughs> just... Bro, this conversation. John, what is John's this conversation? Up, John is looking up looking to the up heavens, to the, dude. He's looking up Lord to the fury savior. gods and being like, "Dude, is there any way we can get out of this?" And you know what they told him? They bestowed upon him absolutely wreak fucking havoc, John. Now he wasn't looking up to the Lord. That was the devil on his shoulder saying, "Wreak havoc." Oh, you know watch this shit. You, do, you, watch you know about Nikki and Tony in the hot tub? What? Oh, you don't know. <laughs> you want my dad's name is Tony? Okay, oh, <laughs> Good no, one. No, no, Good no, one. no. Yeah. Okay, so look. look don't don't look. make me release the picture and then you Gary see what happens. Gary Conan's student, Tony. Uh, I don't want to go there, Nikki. I don't want to go the there. The Fury's our best person in the world. Yeah! <laughs> so John jumps up out of his JJ's seat. Left. Let me just oh, show yeah. you. You think he's done, right? You think, okay, cool. He got it out. John, you know, he has his moments. He has his little spurts. Oh, no, dude. That was level two. Here goes ten. Please, John. You little kids. I'm a machine. <laughs> Me. And can anybody question who I am here? If I say it, then So yeah, there's that. So Dylan tries to throw a chair and that's pretty much the end of it. Let's just go back through that one more time, buddy. I'm a machine. 
<laughs> I'm a machine. You know it's like why he, it's so funny? He like half because it. I lit- I, let me tell you something. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. This is I see this every day. I saw this today. <laughs> This is exactly what my students do. <laughs> when I get them hyped up to demonstrate a form or to do anything, <gasps> they're going to break a board. I get them a little pep talk and they're like <laughs> six. And they break it. <laughs> <My machine. laughs> they get so hyped. Dude, I don't know what possessed his body here, but here he goes. Can anybody question who I am here? Can anybody question who I am here? If I say- Boom. Right hand on the table. There goes the mic. There goes the tables. Now, here's the funny part. Dylan holds on to his mic. <laughs> Dylan's holding on. Tommy's like, I've seen this before, bro. I'm used to it. But watch yep. this fucking Pat McAfee-style punt to this other table. You know this had to hurt. Oh. Doom. Caught right in the <laughs> top of the foot, son. <laughs> he said... <laughs> you know what's funny? This is exactly how my kids kick at the beginning too, dude. That's exactly how they're doing it. This is why Tyson will never come and do MMA. This is the athleticism of the Fury family on display. I've seen Tommy kick a soccer ball, and now I'm seeing Big John. Watch KSI here. KSI like bounces up like he just got freaking, I don't know, like he's on a trampoline. <laughs> he pops up. So I had like a six-year-old. Dude. Uh, I had like an eight-year-old break a, uh, a board for their birthday. This is exactly what it looked like. Like, <laughs> bam! Calla loses his phone. Dylan's leg is gone, or his foot is down here. The cake Dylan's foot's gone. Bro, I was Who wondering what that? this was. Earlier in my video, someone threw, I thought it was a prime bottle. Dog. There's pieces of it coming off. That's the fucking foot (laughs) of the cake. Oh, no. Look, there's pieces of it flying off. This underhand toss. (laughs) He just said. Look, it's right here. (laughs) Oh, my God, dog. Gideon got him a piece. Jesus. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? He says. Hold on. <laughs> oh, man. Grabs it super hard, dog. Like, he snapped that yeah, bitch dude. up. And he says, I'm the <laughs> father of the king of the world. Talking about Tyson, not Tommy, the son that's fighting. <laughs> and then just proceeds to dry hump the air. Do the Ace Ventura. Do you like that, baby? Huh? 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 Classic. Oh my god. Classic. <laughs> Never do that again. <laughs> Dude, Ace Ventura. Come on. It's a classic. Oh, um, it's a classic. So there's John again, man. This is amazing. Fucking wild stuff. You hear Gideon saying, fuck that shit up, John. Okay, so I think that's it for this. I know there's a lot more, but it's more him just, like, facing off. And then we had uh, Mike Perry come in here in a second. So Mike Perry is... So here, I'll let it, I'll, I'll let it play here. Is he the backup? By the way, there's Dylan's hat. <laughs> Some kid found him. <laughs> and no, they're in, And they're dude. in the real fighter shirt. That standby fight has no kid. idea. He, kid has no idea what he's wearing. He's here now, isn't he? It's Mike Perry. No idea. Mike Perry's going to join us now. Former UFC fighter now doing his job and doing a very good job in BKFC. Um, I, when I heard that you were a standby fighter, I was like, they're crazy. So officially, you, but yeah. Mike is the standby fighter. Or who? Dylan? Dylan or Logan, apparently. Oh, wow. I'm in London waiting for the call. Hey, I'm going real- to save it to you guys from hearing it because I know what Mike said. I'm a real fighter. So when you told me to come up here and do this replacement shit, I told the the misfits guys that I was going to do it.
because ain't nobody going to fight unless it's me. I'm going to fight. Bare knuckle or something else. I'm a fighter. Pretty much what he said. I closed my eyes. That was all Mike Perry. That was Mike. Real fighter. Uh, this is what I do. This is how I feed my family. These boys been getting money way other ways. And, uh, you know, they want some respect in this game. So they called me here. If Dylan doesn't show up, I'm ready to fight. So I like how they're just making it about Dylan, which is crazy. I understand why, because he, he pulled out yeah. of the last one. But he is apparently for both. Now, this was almost the last thing we had to see. We're get, we got one more thing, and this has been one of our longer episodes. But you know what? You guys stay for these. This is a full-on podcast. We needed a full-on podcast to break this down, okay? We needed it. Seriously. It was 15 minutes, but it was also one of the craziest things we've ever seen in combat. Uh, okay, well, there's that. Um, wow. In influencer combat, one of the craziest things. Oh yeah, so Logan picked up the we gotta we gotta just watch that. Logan picked up the what head. What is going on? This was this was after Logan picked up the head of Dylan, which in its own right is a fucking psycho bred image. And then threw it at him. I don't know if it hit him or went by him. Dylan kind of rushed at him. Nothing too crazy came of it. That's the first time we've seen Logan throw a right hand in any combat sport or press conference ever. So <laughs> it was good to see for once. You know, it was good. No, it was good to see him that's, actually, you know. That's a good one. He's learning. He's learning. It's two years later, it took him some time. He had to go do WWE. He had to learn how to work a punch. But now he's back and he's, he's throwing it. Nice stuff. Um, Way to talk to him. I'm just saying, you know, you know, you know. Two weeks, of your, two, week, two weeks at your local gym, you get it. But Logan, two years. Um, okay. <laughs> so here is the face-off. Between Tommy and KSI. The highly anticipated didn't get it on the actual stream. This girl has been standing in the same spot for two hours, not moving. I, know, I don't know how. Like... Yeah, frozen in time. And here's a moment in time. Check this one. First off, how did no one notice that John is on KSI's side? <laughs> Tommy looks like me right now. That's what I'm saying. You and him are built the same. Yeah. This thing is smiling at me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Grab his titties, JJ. Squeeze his titties. There you go. Squeeze them titties. So the seriousness of this gets taken away by Gideon saying, Grab them titties, JJ. Squeeze yeah. those titties. Squeeze them. But there's a, there's a couple things to take away, and I'm going to mute it because I'm going to just keep laughing if I keep hearing him say that shit. So, here's the takeaway. Number one, first off, again, we have to go back to this because it's important, the size. And this angle doesn't yeah. really even do it justice, but just from the hands to the arms to the body size. Yeah, it's a big, big difference. difference here. Now, here's, here's a point. A lot of people are making something out of this push. What do you see here? JJ gets pushed. He, he doesn't get pulled back. He pushes himself he pushed back. back. Yeah. Which, again, I think it can be read into way too much, as we tend to do here on the internet. Or we could also say, hey, listen, you're standing square, JJ, one, so that might be why. But two, you that's a big boy. One hand. Yeah. It's a big boy. And if he's making you go back, in one hand, but if he's making you go backward, yeah, and he's just kind of standing there taking it, and someone's pulling him backward, you have to think that is what you're going to have to deal with for six rounds as a big dude that, again, you can't condition your chin. Like, his chin will go if he gets touched. Right, 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 of course. But to the body, this kind of stuff is not going to... It's going to drain you. This is my whole point when talking about KSI going late into fights with this kind of stuff. Throwing as much power as KSI throws behind every punch, it's going to drain him a bit. Yeah, it has to. It has to. No way around it. And it's just like when you're watching guys that, and it's not the same, but it's, you know, we have to make that comparison because Tyson's the older brother. When guys hit Tyson in the body and he laughs at him, you know what I'm saying? He's just laughing. Tommy yeah. might take some of these shots and JJ's like, what the fuck do I got to do to put this guy down? And all of a sudden it's six rounds and he's still going and that jab still, that's my big worry because we're all team right. KSI here. Like, I, don't, I shouldn't have to say that, but nobody wants Tommy to come into influencer boxing and fucking kill the scene. Maybe pro boxing does, but we don't. Right, right, right. No, no. So I'm hoping that they take note of this and they have two months. You maybe need to, I don't know if it's too late, but you maybe need to put some size on him. 
on KSI. Yeah, it's tough. I don't know. Like, what do you do at this point? I, I don't know because you can't. Because think about the clinch. Kinda, you, ha you have to just lean because the size. Think about Tommy's clinch. How he tried to clinch Jake and just lay that shoulder on. But at this point in the game, the size is going to It's going to be, be what it like, is, I know. Right, and it's not going to be better for you because then JJ has to carry it as well. Yeah, yeah. You know? But JJ, it's just his style of fighting. It's not conducive to him being the smaller guy. You know? Him being the smaller yeah, guy because no. you'd think, okay, he has to have a Deontay Wilder right hand. And sure, he can have power in it, but he doesn't have that. You know? No, and Deontay Wilder is 6'7". He's 6'7", and it, so when he's he touches, usually you, taller. you die. The, like the one time he wasn't taller, yeah, he Tyson. lost. Exactly. You know, Tyson. And it's just, oh yeah, by the way, this was John uh, hitting the fucking C gap right here on a double stunt fucking nine shade technique inside move. <laughs> oh. This guy is the, the security at every presser. Good job sinking his hips here. Fair yeah. play to him. That's a big boy running at him. Actually, no, he was stiff. This guy got him. But he was trying, Big John was. Now, this was interesting right here. I don't know what KSI said, but I've never heard Tommy talk like this. You're a bitch. You're a fucking bitch. Come on, then. Pretender. Come on, you fucking fake viper. You fake bitch. Tommy, just do it on your forehead. Never heard him talk like that. Getting real, what. son. Can't I said, and this is why I said when I watched this, this got me more excited about Tommy and, and KSI than I had mm. already been because it does yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? It, it felt like more of a fight buildup, whereas Logan and Dylan are at this point just being like, "Your mom's this and your dad's that." Yeah, the you know what I mean. The the Twitter trolling just kind of flooded over into the present. Translate. To, yeah. It was kind of the same. Yeah, I felt like we were on Twitter. Exactly. Them, so. And someone and people did try to tell me this online. They're like, yo, he won't be the same in real life. Dylan's not gonna be I thought they'd maybe just start talking about the fighting. Didn't happen. Yeah. So yeah. maybe we got time for that. They did face to faces as well, so maybe that's there. But let let's let's end it there. Final thoughts on uh on this entire thing. Like what happened? Who do you think is comes out of this press conference looking the best? John Fury aside. And yeah, what are you what are you thinking? I think it's a plus for Dylan because he showed up uh, and he's there. Um, so that's some something promising. I think yeah, that's good true, true, for true. the overall. Because I think that's like one of the main things. Like, is Dylan going to show? Yeah. Like the, the the question mark is on Dylan. Yeah. You know. Uh, so that I think that answers that. Um, but like I think KSI and Tommy, uh, it's good to see some emotion from Tommy. Yeah. That was good. Because he tries know. to act like, and I said this today on Twitter. He's flat a lot, you know, even when he fights. He tries to act like flat. he's above it a bit, you know, like it's it's a circus right. to him, whatever. And for guys like John and Tyson, it probably is. But for Tommy, you still have to fight. So you better have some some personal stake in the game here and get you ready to go. You know what I mean? That's the first time I've saw that from him. Yeah, and it's good. Also, Logan, just seeing him back, like in a, a press conference, getting yeah. ready to fight. Yeah. It's been a, a minute, so... Um, it's like refreshing. Yeah, I yeah. Don't know. No way. Even though it it's felt, like crazy, but it's it's, it's, it's felt, very like. Yeah, it felt like he belonged there. It did feel like a little bit of 2018 Logan, but it felt like he was, yeah, you know, back. And that's that's what we want to see guys come back into the scene. But overall, listen, as far as views, this thing crushed it. Like, I don't know how many concurrent viewers, probably millions upon millions in total now. Wow. I, I don't even not millions concurrent, but definitely millions now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Here, I'll just refresh and see what we're saying. Yeah, 1.3 on KSI's channel. I'm sure across other channels, there's like, you know, whatever. I don't think it was the most, like, crazy one we've seen. I think that still goes to the LA presser. Where yeah, LA was wild. V and, and Shannon almost got into it. Yeah, that but was crazy. And also the one in uh, the UK were like... One in the, the UK where Greg got punched in the back of the head. Yeah, like outside, that was crazy because it got, yeah. like, serious. Yeah, that one got... A little crazy, but this one was good. It was good to see. They apparently had a lot of people show up, which is a good indicator for the interest level of the people in that area. So there it is, folks. Um, the hour long breakdown version here, the long one. That's what she said. Um, we are going to get into.
potentially, we'll see if we want to cover this, the Logan Paul and Gideon thing as well. Um, but comment section, you let us know down below. What did you think of this presser? Is it more exciting now, the prime card? Are you more intrigued? Are you more interested? And if so, which fight is drawing that attention? We don't have those. I mean, for me, it's it's KSI and, and Tommy fight-wise. I mean, troll-wise, I guess I'm, I'm still seeing what's Dylan going to do next. But fight-wise, I do want to see, can KSI slay the beast? Can he do it? Outside of that, what what is it for you? Is it KSI and Tommy? Well, I'm just I'm just curious to see if your prediction comes true. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that I'm worried now. <laughs> I'm wor- well, see, my prediction would only be true if one lost and one like if it, if someone actually pulled an upset. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. I wouldn't say prediction, but the at percentages, least, uh, my the percentages. statistics. Yeah. Stats. I'm not. I'm not worried in the. I still think like Dylan has a relatively low shot, but I still see a, a path for him. I just. I'm watching KSI now, and the six rounds, I worry about, but I do see yeah. how he can get it done if Tommy fights the same way he fought Jake. We talked about it. Like I, I can see him landing one, and it, again, in ten ounce gloves, sure KSI Tommy calls him middleweight. He could still hit him with a fucking massive overhand and clip him. Hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Like that's all it would take. It's still boxing. It's we can make all the breakdowns we want. It's still boxing. If a punch lands mm-hmm. right here, you're going to sleep. You know what I'm saying? So Tommy got one here and walked through it. If you catch one here, you're probably not. I don't care if right, you're 200 right. pounds, anterior pelvic tilt, attack on Titan, having ass is is there. You're still going down in a merry go round. Cause sugar, we're going down swinging. Sorry. <laughs> Dude, I had that song in the dojo. Vibe. It's a beggar, bro. All right, Christian, we're out of here, man. We're, we're, we're at this point rambling, but <laughs> comment section, let us know. What do you think? Who wins? Who's most? Who won the press conference, and who are you most intrigued to see? We don't have those answers, but October 14th, I'm a machine. <laughs> Can you feel that? Huh? 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 We'll leave it off on Sensei saying that to our viewers. Uh, we don't have those answers, but I guess we'll find out. I can't take no loss. Huh? I don't even know what it costs. Huh? I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, I can't take no loss. Yeah, I don't even know what it costs.